Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. Last time we've heard it's Eve, we're building the streak. It's Samson time this time around. We're just go We're just going through the characters and having a good time doing it. Uh, check out our sack room. Ooh, hello. A little huggy boy. Honestly, a red heart there ain't bad. Um, if I get enough red hearts on this floor, I could be convinced to sacrifice. I'm not planning on it right now, but it's definitely in my mind. Um, but yeah, as for, uh, as for a, like, question of the day, what's, like, a, a mundane or, like, not important skill that you've gained recently that you're proud of? For me, and this is probably quite sad, but I, I like it and I'm enjoying it. Also, virus is kind of nice here. Um, recently I've been, um, playing a lot of, uh, Battle, uh, Battle Bit Remastered, as a lot of you probably know, because I've mentioned it on my videos a few times already, and I've been trying to learn how to be a heli pilot in the game, which is not easy. Those things are not easy to control, and I've been getting pretty good at it, I've been doing it for a while, and yesterday I had my best game ever. I went 131 kills to zero deaths. It was resplendent. It was... Probably one of the most fun games I've ever had, like matches I've ever had in an FPS game. It was insane. The entire enemy team chat was just like raging about it. They just couldn't destroy, like my helicopter couldn't do anything about it. Dude, all the speed ups, piercing, this is beautiful. It was just, it was honestly amazing. It was so much fun. Um, and what was more fun about it is I was on with friends at the time. So I have, I have witnesses. No one can, no one can doubt what, what I achieved, which is, like, what's that line from How I Met Your Mother? Um, a moment isn't legendary unless there's friends there to see it or something along those lines. Like, I, I live by that. <laughs> Not generally, because I don't hang out with friends very often. But, in this situation, I do. Dude, this is a good start to a run. I love... I love a run where you get up to like 1.5 or higher speed early. Like, honestly, getting up to 2 speed isn't really necessary. I think it's a little bit too much sometimes. But anything sort of above 1.4, like, I'd say between 1.4 and like 1.7 is like the ideal speed. So getting to 1.5 this early on, 2 speed upgrades is awesome. I mean, granted, if I get a speed upgrade here, I'm still going to take it. Like, I'm not, I'm not displeased by higher speed, but, um... You watch, I'll get, I'll get the wooden spoon now and I'll be at 1.8 speed, but then again, 1.8 is like, decent. It's not too bad, but it's just tipping the scale, but it's still not terrible. But yeah, having piercing on a boss like this, ooh baby. Ooh baby, does it make things a little easier. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, we've also already got two, um, two syringes, which is kind of nice. Um, I am going to go and sack and just see how much I can get out of it. I'm not, I don't think I can get a full sack going, but one, two, three. Yeah, I can only do three. I could technically go for four, maybe. But that would put me in a slightly risky HP spot. I'm not going to bother. I'll just leave it at that. It is what it is. Right, down to the next floor. Uh, what, what path are we going here? Uh, we could do dark path. Um... We, we ought, ought to be trying to do boss rush in that lot, so let, let's try and speed ourselves up a little bit. I mean, luckily, we have the speed to uh, to burst forth and um, do this pretty quick, I'd say. Now, keeping our devil deal alive here, not something I'm super, super enthused about, especially with this as a starting room. This is actually, yeah, <laughs> actually kind of a rough room, uh, I'll be honest. A lot of enemies that move quite sporadically. Um, kind of had a feeling I was going to lose my devil deal there. I'm not that bothered. I'm not that bothered. It's fine. Uh, I say that while crying deeply inside. Um, but yeah, let's just pretend I'm happy about it. And let's uh, let's get growth hormones from our boss, shall we? Or, growth hormones or synth oil. I'll take both. I think synth oil would probably be better because I think growth hormones is also a speed upgrade. And at this point, I don't think I need much more speed. I think getting... like I, I don't think I've ever had a run where I've got to 1.8 speed off of the first floor before. Um, that's, it's kind of, it's kind of intense. It's pretty schmacking. Give me that. Now we just need some more damage. There you go. <laughs> that solved my problems. It's kind of nice though, once, once you've already been hit, because now I can gain damage as Samson uh, from getting hit without worrying about it too much, because I'm not going to lose my devil deal anymore, because I already have. I still have a 36% chance, it's not a 0% chance. 
but it's just not super reliable at this point. I can't, I can't believe they like went to the effort of making those guys have a separate attack if they accidentally hit a wall. That's like such an above and beyond sort of thing. I'm really hoping we get a key here so we can actually utilize our item room, but God's knows if that's going to happen. We shall see. For some reason I've been getting rather unlucky recently with keys. In just in general, our room drops haven't been great here. Unfortunately, these are enemies that uh, move fairly sporadically. Luckily, they stand pretty still when they uh, when they get hit. Honestly, got hit there on purpose to, to gain some extra damage, of course, of course. This guy will give me a bomb. Pretty sweet of him. Can't believe you're going to drop a bomb for me. This guy will drop a penny. Look at that, baby. Look at that. No bomb. How dare you. Uh, High Priestess will just go in and uh, pop that. Lovely. We did get our Devil Deal. Very nice. Um, I don't think I'm going to take Devil Deal. I think I'm, I'm more of an Angel Deal person. Especially considering we have the ability to go Mega Satan here. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how likely Bosch is going to be here. Just because um, keys are not coming our way. And I kind of have to explore the rest of the floor to try and find one. I'm thinking Secret Room is just to the left here. I'm almost certain it is. But I'll check this room just in case. Yeah, it is. We get another bomb here, that's nice. Honestly, I'm just going to strength card for this. Yeah, thank you for blowing up some of these mushrooms, because they're getting on my nerves a little bit. There's some extra bombs. Got our secret room. We didn't get a key, but baby. Baby you are all that I need. Okay, I haven't had a glitch crown run in quite some time. Little bit annoying to have to pass up on our item room when we have Glitch Crown, I've got to say. Uh, but it is what it is. Right, um, second secret room. Second secret room. Second secret room. I genuinely don't know. Um, I'm just going to leave it. It is what it is. We'll get some Planetarium chance. Which actually with gl Glitch Crown Planetarium could be some good stuff there. Could be some good stuff. Let's try and keep our Angel Deal alive, because Glitch Crown plus Angel Deal will be great. Unfortunately, I've uh, already whiffed that a little bit. Okay, it didn't actually go so bad. I was a little scared there, because those guys were getting quite close. Unfortunately, I still have, like, base fire rate and base damage, so... At the moment, things are going to be pretty slow going. In terms of getting through rooms. Gotta watch out for the, uh... Grimace boys. That was kind of close. Yeah, rooms are going to take a little while. Luckily, piercing does make things a little easier. There's our key. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I wasn't quite sure what that enemy was going to do, so I was a little worried there, but it wasn't so bad. You're the dual shot. You're not so bad either. Yeah, get, having just a half black heart here is making me a little worried. I am going to go for the boss the moment I see it as well. Um, take you out, good, good. These guys aren't, they, a lot of these rooms are just going to be kind of tedious because they take so long to get through, but they're not particularly hard. Like, these enemies are really quite easy. Ah, beautiful. Okay, that makes me feel way better. Um, I'll come back for that. I'm hoping to get an item that I can glitch crown. I can't, I, I can't believe this is the first time in the safe hour we've had glitch crown. This is unprecedented amounts of awesome. This is a very, very good run. Why am I destroying all the poops? Honestly, it's, it's kind of fine to destroy all the poops. They're, they're in the way. Butt lickers. Can you, like, stop being such pests? My god. Hey, at least we got some damage out of that. I don't completely hit it. A hey, extra key. Lovely. We got... Probably Sulfuric out of all of these. So before Sulfuric is Bobby Bombs, I think it was. E. Yeah, just so we can get um, instant secret room access. And also we can destroy mushrooms and stuff. I'm not going to spend the time destroying all of those. Though. The Bobby Bombs was also pretty good there. Uh, we did have two books as well, which is pretty good. But this is also a small damage up, which is nice. It's all good in this hood. But yeah, Sulfuric is just really, really nice for guaranteed secret room access and like 
basically no requirement for having bombs. Um, not particularly worthwhile, I'll be honest. Golden troll bomb, they're lovely to see. Good, good. Regular secret room is here. Ooh, um, future trade rooms have 50% chance to let Isaac. That, that's such a bad pull. I'm going to take Sewn Bond under the pretense that we potentially get ourselves a, um, potentially get ourselves a thingy. What's it called? Okay, what what we got going on here? Let's let's have a look. See, so we got nine volt. What does the mallet do again? Okay, no, we don't care about that. Toy box is pretty good. I like toy box. Abandoned box is pretty interesting. I think I'm gonna take nine volt. Um, just under the pretense of getting an active at some point. So it was after abandoned box. Yeah, it was okay. Ah, I ended up getting the abandoned box. That's fine. It's fine. We got a secret room item out of it anyways. Uh, what do we want here? Clear rune, maybe? We got the shining thingy. Here we go. Clear rune. Lovely. Uh, creates a Mama Mega explosion. Okay. Um, a reusable Mama Mega seems... Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Right. Let's keep it going. Not exactly that strong, really. Kind of annoyed that I didn't get 9 volt now, though. But then again, I wouldn't have had clear rune if I, if I got 9 volts. So uh, there's that, I suppose. Right. Uh, here's a tricky one. So that's a good amount of damage. That's a good amount of tears. That's damage and luck. I think I want to go for the sour... So we go with a bandage binder. There you go, lovely. Yeah, good amount of damage there, like that. I don't care about the tiny tears, it's fine. We've got a little, like, gunshots now. But yeah, I was hoping for a better rune drop on uh, clear picking up clear rune. Uh, but, eh, it is what it is. But yeah, the tiny tears is going to be kind of interesting, but honestly, I think it's okay. Tier size doesn't really matter that much, and I'm, I'm happy to have the extra damage. I really just need extra fire rate from somewhere now. Because that fire rate is pretty abysmal. Sadly, I was hoping for the HP drop there and didn't get it. Would have been good to get rune bag and clear rune, but I think that would be shooting for the stars a little too much. I don't think that's likely to have happened. Good, good. Good, good. It's kind of a, a shame that with piercing, um, the sulfuric acid tears don't just pierce through rocks. I guess that would be um, spectral, though, so... Makes sense it doesn't, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. Um, shopkeepers and secret rooms are replaced by rune clusters. Blowing up a rune cluster um, causes it to drop up to three runes. Okay, this is... That's incredible for what we've got right now. Well, that's good. <laughs> How much charge is that? 12 rune charge. I kind of thought it would be. Clear rune is only one rune charge, but... This means we now have the, uh, like, ability to generate us more runes. That's kind of incredible. And now we have a really, really easy access way to get money, which is really good for the shops. Good. Right, what we got going on here? Uh, I think we want to take the, the Twinkle Contagion thing, because that's spun. Yeah, want to be, like, right here, I think. Okay, so we want to do Papilla Duplex. Dude, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I need to... I, I, I just haven't... Oh, dude, what the hell? I saw Fury Acid, that, that thing, straight away. I haven't um, used... What's it called? In a really long time. Um... Glitch crown, so I'm, I'm not really good at timing things at the moment, so 
Forgive me for missing things. Unfortunately, Papilla Duplex is kind of trash. Ooh, actually, no. I was just asking for Spectral, so it's not actually that trash. Now we can destroy multiple rocks in a single shot, which is pretty nice. Okay, this is, this is kind of good. I missed out on Spun, but overall, not terrible. Come on. Dude, what the fuck? Sulfuric Acid tier, come on. What the hell? And it didn't even destroy the cut down. Right, I'll leave that for a second. Beautiful. Amounts of money. Fortunately, this guy is going to take a really, really long time to kill. I'm going to use a few bombs. I still want to keep one bomb, but otherwise this guy's going to take forever. Okay. But yeah, I think this is a good rune right now, but I'm trying to think of what other runes would be really good. Soul of Cain is really the one that you're looking for, I think. Soul of Cain is insanely good with um, clear rune. From what I remember, unless they patched it, they might have patched it, but it used to be like a two room charge or something, or a three room charge. It was better than red key, I remember that. Sadly, still no angel deal. Uh, we definitely want Mr. Dolly here. Right, let's actually do this right this time. So we got Mum's heal. There you go, that's better. Oh, the triple as well, that's perfect. Right, we do need to go back and go to our shop. I've realised that I'm probably going to miss out on Boss Rush doing this, but. I'll be honest, I don't care. I could have kept my Mama Mega Explosion. Um, do you know what? It might be a good idea to keep it, just in case. Oh god, I fucking hate these enemies. Get out of here. I hate you. Good, there's a bomb back there. Bombastic bomb. Take you out. See if we can get like a battery from our shop first before we do anything. Ah, I can't get in there obviously. Get back here. Ooh, haunted chest. And keys, thank you. Is there something left in this room? No, okay. Yeah, being able to destroy multiple rocks like this is actually really nice. And obviously the wider shot, obviously when our tiers are so small isn't great, but it does mean it's hitting enemies a little easier, which is nice. It alleviates some of the shots being tiny problem. But yeah, Angel Deal is protected for next floor. I'm so annoyed we haven't got an Angel Deal yet. Two flaws at 30% and 60% that we've missed out on. Right, so we got some good stuff here. Um I think we just want to take champion belt, don't we? Bell clapper we want to go for. So this is a good one because if we hit bell clapper, I'm still pretty happy with that. Uh, we got champion belt, good, good. Um, alabaster box is interesting, but I don't think we're going to take. Hmm. I think I'll just get that. Oh, good, good. Yeah, nice. Okay, I can go boom. Boom. And then I can do this one room back over here. Get another use of my soul of the keeper. Then use the soul of the keeper. Then take my mega explosion. I think that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I could just get completely screwed and get, like, no money at all out of this. Ow. Fucking stupid enemies. Ah, for God's sake. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to happen. Oh, well. Unfortunately, we didn't get any special pennies out of that, which is a real shame. Um, We'll do that, because we've we got more runes coming in. Um, and 12 room charge for potential of getting four coins isn't exactly my idea of perfect. So, I'm, I'm not particularly enthused about that. Right. 
to keep it moving and grooving. Gimme gimme. Take our zealot heart, lovely. And down to the next floor. But yeah, having this Mamma Mega explosion for boss rush is pretty useful. Curse of Rebirth is fine. What what um wisp did we get? Eyeshadow, I think it is. Mum's eyeshadow. Ooh, hello, clusters. How are you? There's a lot of stuff there. Unfortunately, all of those aren't great. <laughs> uh, Soul of the Lost is pretty good for sealing devil deals, but we're not going devil deals, so... Yeah, that was a bit of a whiff. Oh, I didn't go back to the other uh, thingy room with the double bomb chests. Hierophant's lovely here. This, this might be one of my first runs ever with the clear room where I'm actually getting some seriously good use out of it. What the fuck is... I've literally never seen this enemy do this in my entire life. Did it get reworked or... What's going on with that? Good, good. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Keep it moving. Try and keep our Zealot Heart alive as long as we can, but I kind of doubt I'm going to keep it alive through this floor. Damage is actually looking pretty good now. Just got to remember that just because my tier tiny doesn't mean my damage low. I've actually got some decent fire right now as well. Yeah, it is Mum's Eyeshadow. Oh, hell, what the fuck? Where did you guys come from? Was not expecting to see you there. Second secret room. Just got to check it real quick. No, no, no. I haven't really been finding second secret room at all. Considering I got sulfuric acid, that's kind of a travesty, but hey her. Dude, these guys must have been reworked, because I don't think I've ever seen them do that. Right, what we got going on here? Probably one um the Gorgon. Gorgon comes after little chubby. There you go. Good, good. I like the Gorgon. And then in here we've got... Well, I've got so many items on sale. What's going on with that? Um, What, what floor are we on? Dank Depths 1. Uh, options is probably a pretty good one to grab. So we got the candle then options. Good. We've also got Peer to Win back there as well, but I don't think I'm that asked about that. Right, keep it moving. Okie dokie. Yeah, the, the, the stationary Gorgon dude is like absolutely cracked. Basically just nullifies one enemy in the room at a time. And they just stay frozen for the whole whole time. It's great. Ooh, we did get a planetarium. Hell yes. is ace. Okay, right, what we what we got going on here? Let's let's have a little look see. Needs to be a little bit closer. Right, so we got Palace, damage for each new room explored. Neptunus is great. Terra. Terra we don't really need because we've already got sulfuric acid, although Terra is good damage. Neptunus is what I'm thinking so far. Yeah, let's take ne Neptunus. Saturnus is also really good. Palace and then Neptunus, okay. So if I get Palace, I'll also not be that sad. Oh, I got Terra, okay. I didn't want Terra, really, out of all of those. I, I'm, I whiffed it because I've already got Rock Shots. But Terra does give a pretty beefy damage increase, so I can't be mad about that. And it does mean that I have guaranteed Rock Destruction now. So, not all that bad. Little bit of a whiff, but not all that bad. Terrorism, certainly not a bad item by any means. It also has some interesting synergies too, so we could see those play out eventually. Oh, come on now. Stop being the most annoying enemies to ever exist. Like, what is this bullshit? You're the easiest thing in the world to kill. Just pop your face up and let me kill you. 
I don't care for your shenanigans. Yeah, Terra's definitely not bad, by any means. I'm taking my sweet time as I go through rooms here, because I can. Oh, also as well, it is nice for... Terra's nice for the guaranteed um, rock-destroying power, so we can get, like, straight through doors if we want to blow through doors into the next room. Whereas Sulfuric Acid, as we saw earlier, can be a little frustrating when trying to blow up rocks in a timely manner. And Sulfuric Acid also does give damage too, so it's not like Sulfuric Acid is going to waste either. Ooh, hello. Two of those hearts. Don't mind if I diddly do. Um, we've seen item room and shop. We're pretty much good to go here. You have been frozen, my ladder. But yeah, basically this guy will just turn around constantly and then freeze things. Obviously, it doesn't freeze bosses super often. Unfortunately, we are fighting one of the worst bosses to ever exist, so we just got to deal with that. He's going to do his little fire move in a minute. Luckily, we actually stood in a decent spot there for that. I don't think I've ever not been hit by this guy's fire attacks. Get out of here, little goober. Um, unfortunately, nothing great here either. Um, I guess I want latch key. I, dude, I'm so I need to get better at this, especially for angel deals. Right, what we got going on here? The liar is really, really good, but it would replace our active, which would be kind of sucky. I think I'm going to go for the three skulls. Three skulls is after, what was it? Scapula? Okay. If I get scapula, I'm going to be so mad. Yeah, I got it. I like the three skulls. Three skulls are interesting. Didn't really mean to shoot you, but it's happened now. Yeah, basically they all get launched at enemies and do various different things. They can be pretty strong. I like it. Right, um, we are going down. Still yet to find a good rune, but this floor could be the one. Um, not sure where that ghosty came from. Was it from my boy, my my skull? Hey, crawl space, hello. Ooh, mysterious liquid. I would very much like that. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. I'm trying to do something here. I'm not sure if I'm lined up for this. D10, okay, D10, then mysterious liquid. Yeah, got it. I like Mysterious Liquid a lot. Get out of here, spider. No one loves you. Beautiful. Look at that brimstone boy going doing his thing. Full card there. Don't really need that. Good. Dice room here. I'll at least check. I've got plenty of keys. I don't really know what to expect from it or what I want from it. Probably a five room. That's... Let's have a look. What, what dice room is this? Rerolls all pickups trinkets on the entire floor. Okay, so I want to be... Um, Bombing the spin down. There you go. Right, I'll leave that there for now. Spin down isn't actually that useful because we don't really get to spin down to what we want it to be. But it's a reroll, so if all five of our choices aren't very good, we get to reroll into something better. Okay. Um, 
Gotta make sure I don't take missing no, because that would be the deepest upset of spaghetti. Do you know what? This is a good spin down, to be honest. These are pretty awful as well, I'll be honest. These are pretty awful as well. Uh, I'll take the red chain, if I can. Right. Just don't take care, Stai. Red chain comes after... Possum ear, I think. Yeah, possum ear. Got him. Soleon of Apollyon is pretty fun. Soul of Gollum is also pretty goddamn good. I think I'm just going to use Soul of Gollum, though. Uh, see what I end up getting. How much charges is this? Six room charge, that's not terrible. Um, right. I think I go... I think I do... This. Just hold on to this for a little bit. Oh wait, secret... Um, not secret room, sorry. Thingy room is here. Ooh, probably rubber cement out of all of these. So it goes number one, common cold, rubber cement, okay. I'd be okay with common cold as well, but it's not my ideal choice. Yeah, rubber cement, lovely. Bouncy poison rocks. Shop, what do you hold for me? A soul heart. Oh! There it is, baby. There it is. Oh, wait. Is this a six room charge now? Ah, it is. They, they, they nerfed it. I mean, that's fair. It is insanely strong. Um, But this is the one that I want to keep. See, the question is now, do I want to do boss rush and stuff? Or do I want to keep this? I can't do birth. I can't do birth. Fight the dilemma. Play this out for a ho hopefully a soul heart. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, because this is this is the rune you want. Also, I think now we're probably safe to um to grab a different trinket now that we've got this. Um Yeah, we'll take that. Tennis balls are pretty good. This is tricky. I wish I could take a full card as well. So, like, I can do this. I think that's pretty cool. Opening up multiple red rooms at once. Good, good. We got spun here if we're if we're careful. Placenta, okay. Wait for placenta. Hey, we got ourselves some spun, baby. We got ourselves some spun, baby. This is this difficult. I think based on how strong the run is, I should I should go for the um. I should go for the ability to do boss rush and stuff, because I can get way more completion marks done. Just based on the strength of this run. But it's more fun to take the Soul of Cain. Maybe I'll take back the Geo Trinket and hope for another Soul of Cain. That's probably the, the, the better scenario. Let's come back over this way. And then... Grab, yeah, yeah, grab that. So, pop this he pop this here, why not? Right, kill all of those. 
quickly check this out as well. Ow. Quickly go in here. I'm losing a lot of HP right now. Not ideal. A lot of red rooms about for us. Right. Back to the secret room. We pick up that, sadly. I don't really want to, but I think it's the better idea. Right, we go back over this way. Second secret room, nice. Morbid Heart's pretty lovely here. Not going to bother with that uh, red tower, because I've already found... Wait, have I found my red secret room? I haven't found my red room. I, I will do this instead. Ooh, Hero Font's very lovely here. Still yet to find my red room. Is a shame. Uh, at this point, I think I can do this. Yeah, I'm glad I did now. Less temptation as well. Yeah, this is a fun run. We've got some interesting stuff going on here. First time I've had spun in a while. Taking so much goddamn damage, but it does mean my damage is skyrocketed. Right, good, good. Boss time. Okay, well, we're doing Dark Path here. And then we want to go Space Bar. Lovely. So we've got Sci-Fly is obviously the main contender right now. Yeah, I think Sci-Fly is going to be it, isn't it? There's also a Hurst hat there, but I don't think that's quite as good. Right, Sci-Fly comes after Kane's Eye. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Managed to get it there. Lovely. Being able to get all the rocks out of the way here is rather nice as well. One moment. Da, 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 da. Right, let's keep it going. Yeah, it should be a pretty quick boss rush overall, I think. Oop, I stepped on creep there. Not the most ideal thing to do. Some of these skulls as well seem to like insta-kill some bosses. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It seems to return pretty quick as well. I'm going to put a bomb down here, just because I'm getting really annoyed at that webbing. I'm like, gone. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tedious, I think, just to get through the boss rush, because it's just going to take a bit of time. But it's, like I said, it's going to be relatively quick. It's not going to be super slow. Certain bosses like this that just take forever. There you go. I love the fact that we're still freezing stuff with our uh, Gorgon boy. He is the best boy. God, there's so much webbing about. What the hell? Why is, why is this stage got so much webbing on it? Oh my lord. There's just so much going on right now. I'm getting pummeled. Like I said, I'm getting hit a ton at the moment, but... Should be fine. Dude, little, little jumpy uppy ground boy, can you stop for a hot minute and just die? Thank you. Angel boy. Imagine if these guys gave key pieces as well. That'd be, that'd be the dream. Sadly, we cannot be so lucky. I think I will get another angel deal though, at some point on another floor. Ooh, Midas effect. Nice. I knew they had a lot of effects that they can do, but yeah, it, it really is like quite a wide variety. This is an item I don't really see very often, but I think it's really good. Good old Gish. Oh, look at that. The Brimstone boy. 
That 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 one that has the dark like aura around it. That one fucks. That one does so much damage. Little baby plum. What the hell did that little spider come from? Heck you. We've got a chub in here. The reworked chub, which is just awesome. Honestly, don't know where he's gone. There we go. <laughs> kind of disappeared for a hot minute there. I think two more waves. This this one and two more. Oh, the brimstone one. It's so good, man. It's so good. I'm definitely glad I took the skulls. They are very good. Ooh, you've been frozen at the prime time there. Oh, bloody hell. That, that other skull sucked the fucking Gemini. Oh, one more wave. Uh, sucked the Gemini and, like, dragged it right into me. PSA people don't suck off a Gemini. Right, is that last wave? No, it's not. Wow, I was way off. I know there is a mod that adds a wave counter, but I actually quite like not knowing and having to sort of work it out yourself. There you go. Um, and then out of this, ooh, we could get Photon. Photon's kind of interesting here. I don't really know how it would work, but I kind of want it. It's also a pretty big damage up. I could also take Eden's Blessing. Uh, yeah, let's take, let's take Eden's Blessing, because the fire rate up is, is pretty necessary, and getting an extra item on our next run. It's after TNT Crafter. Yeah, we, our fire rate isn't great, so the fire rate up is pretty good. And getting another item on our next run, I'd say, is pretty valuable. And also, we, we've, we've had Furt on the last few runs. Well, not, not the last few runs, but we've had it a few times over the course of the last few runs. Um, so we don't, we don't need to take it. And also, I don't know what, it, like, how it would work with our synergies. I, I'm very curious to see if it does anything with Terra, and I was very curious to see if it did, it did anything with Rubber Cement. So it, it, I definitely did want to take it, and obviously it gives a damage up and stuff as well, so there's, there's that. But, yeah, I think Eden's Blessing with the fire rate we had right now, and our future runs was trying to win them all, made more sense. Oh, what the fuck? I did not want Guppy's Tail there. I didn't even get to see what item it was. It just instantly took it. Not what I wanted to do at all, game. We do need more keys, so I have to go back and grab that one. Oh, I don't think I finished that room. Bugger. I hope we go straight to uh, the boss here. Ow. Gotta remember I've got Psy Fly. I keep forgetting that. I need to. I don't have to be anywhere near as cautious around shots coming at me. Breezy boys. Soul Heart there as well. I'm not gonna open that. Uh, maybe I should because I could have an item, but I think I'm gonna save all my. I need. I need at least seven keys for the. Um, Curved horn. Yeah, I'm gonna take curved horn. I like damage. I need to stop taking damage, because at the minute I'm taking damage like crazy. Good. I'm not even finishing rooms at this point. I just... See the door open, I'm like, bye. Quick path to the boss here. One minute. Should grab that for the keys. Thank you. Oh, hello. I haven't fought you in quite some time, my guy. Be honest. I'm not a particular fan of this boss, but it's intriguing. Oh, 
Alrighty then. That's that. Um, probably take smooth stone here. That comes after the head. Yeah, smooth stone's lovely. We did get a devil deal here, which I'm not particularly enthused about. Because I'd like to get an angel deal on the next floor, but probably not super likely. I'll try and get the angel deal, but it's it's not it's not super likely. Right, next floor. One second. Right, let's keep it going. But yeah, I'm sad to, to lose the ability to get more runes, but at the same time, I'm pretty okay with Curved Horn. If Curved Horn shows up, I feel like it would be, n like, just sacrilege to not take it straight away. Okay, dude, just got hit twice there to um, what seemed to be the floor. Don't know what health I'm on at the minute. Oh, actually, I can see my health now. Okay, not great health. Not great health. Get out of here. Where our boss at? Where our boss at? I really want items. Give me glitch crown items. That's all I want. We've got to be going the right way here. There, there you go. Oh, this is the first red pillar we've seen in a while. Honestly, I'm not going to take that red pillar because it'll take me miles away and I'll have no idea where I'm going. Because I've got uh, no mapping. Hopefully there should be a quick kill on the mum's heart here. I don't I don't want to have to deal with the... Uh, the bullet hell phase thing. Ah, god damn it. She always manages to get one in. Just stat. Always seem to get hit to this. I think I'm going to be okay this time around though. It just lasts a bit too long. There you go. We're good. Right, we go boom bow. Do a bit of hushy hushy. And crack. That is a lot of moolah. Right, Item-wise, what we got going on here? Dead eyes, the clear one. Oh, oh, wait, no. Cricket's Cricket's head is is clearly what we're taking here. So what we got going on? Uh, nugget, sad bombs, cricket. Okay. Beautiful. Huge damage up. Lovely. Honestly, Deadeye might have actually been a little bit better there. And, of course, we'll be taking Molten Slag. Fettered Heart, Bag of Bobbies, D2, okay. Lovely. Um, we do have a spin down here, which is kind of nice. Right, I think here we take go for the stamp, and then there you go, get card reader, and then here try to go for glizzy. Nice one. Okay, pretty happy with how that went. Boss time. Got our fires going on. They are a little bit large and in charge, the fires. A little bit distracting, but let's not fret. That'll be fine. Oh, dude. I think we're going to wreck uh, wreck this boy. Ooh, dude. Our fires have rubber cement on them. That's pretty cool. I forget that they inherit all your tier effects now. Pretty lovely. And then, yeah, we have Psyfly, so should be pretty okay. Honestly, I think our Skulls are going to end up being the biggest damage dealers here. Especially if we get that Brimstone one. The Brimstone one does quite a bit. There you go. Look at that bad boy.
Yeah, honestly, this skull item, underrated from like what I've previously used of it. It's really goddamn good. So many effects, and they're so like consistent, and like like they just happen so often. We've already done a really good amount of damage to this guy. And we're basically not having to move at all. And he's getting frozen every now and again by a Gorgon boy. Good, good. I'm trying to f figure out which one it is that does the brimstone. Because the all the different skulls look a bit different. Not the gem one. Is it the wreath one? Not the wreath one. Not that one. Is it the one holding the wood? No. Is it the rose one? It's the rose one, okay. Yeah, this has been a, a rather easy push fight overall. Yeah, it seems that they, they, they come up in a, in a predictable order as well. The skulls, it's not random. Lost quite a bit of health here, but we do have two of those hearts that revive us, I think they do. I'm not sure if they're revives or not. We have two of them. Whatever they do. Now the question is here, do I go Delirium? Honestly, I think I do. I think Delirium's the better shout here. And I've got a really good run for it. And Glitch Crown plus all the items we're going to get from uh, killing the bosses is pretty nice. Oh, dude, I completely forgot about Card Breeder there. That would have taken us straight to the boss. Although I don't think I want to go straight to the boss because I think that would have been actually straight to Delirium. And I'd rather clear out all the rooms. What's this, why is this guy pure black? Oh, unfortunately we have Curse of Rebirth, which is actually a really annoying curse to have on this floor. Gonna make rooms take quite a bit longer, I think. Oh, hello, Crawl Space. Was not expecting you. Don't rebirth this guy. Problem with rebirthing this guy is he rebirthed with low HP, as, as they do, but he still has boss armor, so. Oh, hello. Um, This is kind of tricky. You're gonna think I'm mad, but I want Nugget Bombs. Midas, okay, after Midas. Nugget Bombs uh, fire your damage tiers, like the, the flies that they produce, and we can produce a fucking ton of them. Hmm, also not a big fan of this. Holy Water would be good, same with Mum's Contact, but I'm not risking the HP for that. That, that, that looks like something I'd get myself hurt in. Yeah, just keep moving. If I make a swift, swift exit to the boss. Oh my god. Oh, the Brimstone dude produced extra fires as well. That's awesome. God, Molten Slag is just, or whatever the, the item's name is, I always forget the item's name, it's so cool. Um, again, I think I'm going to do something weird here. I'm going to take Bozo for the chance, for one we get a soul heart of it, which is nice, but for the chance of getting a rainbow uh, poop while we're fighting Delirium, that could save our ass. Good old reworked Skolex. Shouldn't be too bad breaking his armor pretty quickly. Well, they're saying that we've not done any damage to him yet, so... Also got hit by, I think, was Creep, maybe? Dude, is this guy gonna die? I put so much damage into him. What the hell's going on? Like, surely he's broken by now. I swear this guy just bugs sometimes. Like, th this is... Way too much damage for him to not be dead yet. Like, his armor cracks, what should I say? Wait, was that not debug 10? What? There you go. Ain't dealing with you, buddy. Try and get Pesci here. After underwear. Good, good. 
Yeah, for some reason that well, seems to bug fairly often. I'm fighting Skullex and he just refuses to die. Because he's got like armor that you have to break first. I get that. Unfortunately, money's not very useful to us now, so that's not super good. I don't have any keys now for this tower. Of course, there's all of them showing up now that I don't have keys. Where are the bosses at? Show me the bosses. Oh my god. A little bit overwhelmed. I'll be honest, I really hate those enemies. Look, just look at the insane creep they make. They hit me so much. Oh, dude, what? All these golden chests, it's because I got Guppy's tail, because I accidentally picked that up. That was a very frustrating thing to accidentally pick up. Oh, dude. These enemies with rebirth. I hate it. Stop. Good, good. Ah, bugger. We got delirium straight away. Really was not hoping for that. I was hoping to get more HP first. But like I said... I have um, Bozo just in case. I mean, we're going to be dealing a hell of a lot of damage to this guy, so it's not super likely we die anyways. Oh, dude, I need to be firing off my bombs. I don't really care if I hit him. Oh, dude, he's in his thingy phase for so long here. Dude, you have no boss armor when you're like that. You realize that, right? But yeah, these, these little pooter boys... Um, they uh, they deal exactly our damage per shot, which is kind of crazy. 25 damage per shot. And you can just spam the hell out of these bombs and get them everywhere. Really, really good for long boss fights. Oh, there's an item here. Hello. I'll just take whatever I get. Unfortunately, got the wrong thing. Ooh, also hello. Oh, we got Mars. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Of all the things I could have got, you give me Mars. Dude, fuck off, Mars. No, Mars is the worst. I want to move micro movements. I don't... Mars, I don't literally ever want you to ever do that. Ever. Just stop. Actually used Mars for good there. Using Mars for damage. Has it ever been done before? Good old mum telefrag. Don't even know what's going on right now. Dude, how are you not dead? Look at your health bar. Look at your health bar. Right, there you go. Anyways, we just about got that done. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is another rather good run. Started off very good. Glitch crown is the best. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And we'll see what we unlock, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Booyah!